Hello, this is Messy Rider, and welcome to another episode of Coaster Facts Reacts, a series where I look at upcoming roller coasters, rides, and attractions. Now, for this episode, we are looking at the new Super Nintendo World coming 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 to Universal Studios Japan. Now, this is a this is actually a brand new section coming to the park that's themed to to a bunch of the games around that the Nintendo games, but in particular the Mario games and and games that are related to, to the Mar to the Mario franchise. Okay, so it is going to be so, uh, and from I can tell from pictures that, that, that there's going to be a lot of stuff that that's going to there's going to be a lot of tunnels and stuff that, are, that look like the pipes that you go through if you're playing Mario. Oh, you got you got mushrooms everywhere. You got. You just got a bunch of stuff as well as I don't know too much about the attraction. I couldn't find too much in, in terms of research on that, but, but and I'll, probably, I'll probably find out more about it going in. But although the one attraction that I did find is that they're going to have a more or less of a real life version of of Mario Kart. So basically, multiple and for I can tell, it's going to be multiple go kart courses that are all themed to. Different game, basically, are themed to different parts of Mo the Mario universe, same as the Mario Kart games. If you ever, if you guys ever ever played those, those. And on that note, let's get into the video. The video is by by Attractions Magazine. Now, I'm just gonna just point this out that this is a dubbed version, so you're probably gonna hear. Here, here's a person speaking in Japanese in the background, and then someone speaking over him. As well, uh, and on so just give you that heads up. And on that note, let's, here we go. I'm here at Universal Studios Japan at Super Nintendo World where you can experience the Mushroom Kingdom in real life and it's finally complete. So now, for the very first time, I'd like to directly show you what's inside Super Nintendo World. So, what do you think of the inside? In the games, we didn't really show the interior of the pipes. So when it was time to actually make a life-size warp pipe, we discussed different ideas for the interior. There were lots of ideas. If we used all of them, it would have ended up being an attraction all by itself. So we went with a straightforward warp pipe. Come on, let's warp. It's the lobby of Peach's Castle. So I hope you'll enjoy that. There are also paintings on the wall. All right, let's head outside. This is Super Nintendo World. At last, it's complete. It makes a big impression seeing the park in real life. In the middle, there's Mount Beanpole with a flag at the top. Let's take a look at the park from the plaza in front of Peach's Castle. We can see Yoshi and a Goomba Tower over there. They both move like they do in the games. There are so many characters. It feels like I've entered the real Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, let's keep going and look around some more. There are lots of moving characters and elements here in Super Nintendo World. But that's not all there is to it. You can also interact with some of them. This here is the question mark block activity. Let's try it. So, this question mark block, I punch it with my hand wearing the power-up band. Did you hear it make the coin sound? Then, if we check the smartphone, we can see that I got a coin. We're now getting closer to the blocks. They're incredible. They make a huge impression when you're up close. And they are even more elements moving around. There's a huge piranha plant here, which is another activity. Look, here we have a Koopa Troopa, which is yet another activity. I'll show a bit more of this one. Alright, I want the key above the pipe with the Koopa Troopa. There are POW blocks here. 
Let's play by tapping this key tap point. Ah, I did it. Now, if I scan here, I can get the key, which gets recorded in the power-up band. Here's the underground level. It's a realistic underground cave that resembles a huge maze. It feels a bit creepy. Easy now. Oh, I found a block. I'll try punching it. I've noticed unusual things like this around here. If you find a symbol like this, try holding up the power band near it. Oh, there's a bomb on here. Be careful with the bomb on. Be careful with this bomb on, too. Oh no, it exploded! The blocks are all bigger. It's like I've turned into Mini Mario. I found a huge question mark block here. I'll try punching it. I only got one coin this time, though. And over there, is that a giant bomb on? Okay, next up is the Super Nintendo World Gift Shop, 1UP Factory. Inside the pipe is a toy factory. There's some exclusive Super Mario merchandise that can only be purchased here. I'd like to show you one of those items. A special toy that the Nintendo development team created. Here it is. It's called Toko Toko hmm. Mario. Mario starts walking around when you push him along like this. No batteries are required. The development team paid close attention to his movements as they produced it. Oh, this? It's popcorn. Eating popcorn while walking around might seem ill-mannered. Mm -hmm. But this is a special popcorn that Universal Studios made. Mm. You can get it in caramel peach flavor and mushroom mm -hmm. flavor. This isn't the only original food here, though. You can stop by here when you get hungry at Super Nintendo World. It's called Canopio's Cafe. Whoa, Luigi? And Mario, too. What's going on? Oh, I see. You're doing a photo shoot. Let's face the photographer and take a picture. All right. All right, ready. Three, two, one. Here we are inside Kinopio's Cafe. Looks like you can get items here, too. Ah, there it is. A big gift box and a small one. I'll pick the big gift box, of course. I got tons of coins. Okay, let's walk around some more. This is what the dining area looks like. It's very spacious so that many people can dine here. You can see power-up items on the ceiling. You can see the kitchen from there. Many toads are working hard to prepare the food. The items on the menu, of course, are specially made in the Mushroom Kingdom. We've selected them after sampling many of the dishes the chef made. The menu features carefully selected items. For example, the Mario Burger and the Super Mushroom Pizza Bowl both use mushrooms. They are delicious. There are many more items on the menu. I hope you'll be able to enjoy the food Chef Toad has prepared when you need a break from your adventures at Super Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World will hold its grand opening at Universal Studios Japan on February 4, 2021. But we understand that it may be challenging right now for some of you overseas to visit the park due to COVID-19. There are plans to open Super Nintendo World in other countries that people can visit in the future. Hollywood, California, and Orlando, Florida in the United States. And Singapore in Asia. Super Nintendo World is scheduled to open at the Universal Studios parks in these locations. 
Okay, what you see behind me is Bowser's Castle. Inside is Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge, and Team Bowser is ready to race. Nintendo and Universal Studios collaborated to create it, and we wanted to make a ride that's never been seen before. It took six years to develop. Eventually, everyone will be able to take part in this world premiere experience. Finally, before we go, let's take a sneak peek inside the castle. Okay, the giant Bowser is waiting for you at the top of the stairs. A bit further in, there's a display for familiar trophies from the Mario Kart series. And this is the trophy for this race, exclusive to Universal Studios. There's a challenge letter from Bowser next to it. This is Bowser's special course, prepared just to beat Mario. You need to challenge it as part of Mario's team. Can Team Mario really win on a course that Bowser knows every detail about? Good luck! I'm very excited for all of you to experience the park on your own. Okay, I hope to see you all at Super Nintendo World. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. では、行ってきます。Hey, that was Super Nintendo World. <laughs> I must say, it looks like really interesting. And that, and that, what that wristband thing was, was I see. What that wristband thing was is a simple interaction and thing that you, that people who are going. Who who are playing who are at the park can do it's basically just a download a, a app on your smartphone and 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 you can basically participate in it basically you'll scan the code in your wristband and you can and you and you can get and basically I ultimately I think it adds up so you can get prizes at the end if you did so much you can get certain prizes or like discounts on certain things I don't know exactly is I'm just speculating on that part. Alright, but uh, it does look like it's really cool. I, I mean, the only, only disappointment was I, I really was hoping to see them do like a, an actual go kart thing with Mar Mario Kart. So I, but it's, it's kind of a disappointment, but not not unexpected what they were doing. And it looks like hit the what they got is going to be something pretty pretty exciting and something that's also really interactive. So I got I'm pretty excited to see what it's going to be like, and I really am what. I really am excited to see see that them come over to come in, come over here in the United States. As soon uh, I in particular the Orlando one because that's the closest one to Universal Studios Park tour to me towards me and so it's definitely gonna be a fun thing to see. I was also tried the different food, the uh, see the Mario and Luigi in real life. I was also I'm pretty sure that statue is alive. Uh, a life-size replica of uh, uh, Bowser, which I think is also would be cool. Seeing just how huge Bowser really is. It, it, so, uh, and on that note, this is uh, Mr. Grider, and I'll see you next time.